Hey everyone, welcome to Second Hand Blasters. This is Nomadico here. And uh, tonight, of those things that I actually asked if anyone had any blasters that they wanted me to review, and someone did answer. Alan, this one is for you. Uh, we are actually going to be talking about the Adventure Force V Twin. Now, the V Twin, um, Adventure Force Dark Zone, they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, this is actually the Adventure Force badged version of it. Uh, the V Twin itself, it is a fully automatic. Gatling gun style blaster. Uh, it does shoot up to, I believe it is 30 darts, and it has these cool little side turrets here that are non functioning. It is just dart storage. Um, I've actually gone ahead and put 3.7 volt batteries in here. Uh, we're doing a 3 and 3 combination. That's 3 3.7 to 3 standards. It does hold up to 6 batteries. Um, we're going to actually hook this up to the chronograph to see just how powerful it can get. And uh, also I want to see how it compares against the Scorpion. Um, if you have seen my channel, you'll see that I actually did a comparison of the two Gatling guns. I believe it was called Dueling Gatling Guns where we did the X-Shot Crusher versus the Scorpion. Um, speaking of which, Alan, congratulations. I hope you're enjoying that uh, new inbox X-Shot Crusher I sent you. Um, enjoy it. Uh, those who are watching, just to let you know, when I hit actually 200 subscribers, I'm going to be doing the other blaster giveaway. So keep on sharing my videos, get some more subscribers going, and that way we can get to our next giveaway quickly. Now, regarding the actual V-Twin itself, um, it does have the actual carrying handle here. You have the rev trigger. That sounds pretty loud with those, uh, those 3.7 volts. And then, of course, this trigger right here causes the chain to rotate, and it shoots out the blasters. Uh, the tarts, not the blasters. Jesus. Oh, it's late. Anyways, um, so the speed of this thing, you know, I'm going to try to hook up to the chronograph. We will see that it can get up to speed right around the 100 mark. Um, but what I'm more concerned about is how quickly we can unload all of the darts from this chain. Because it's a Gatling gun. It should shoot very fast. Uh, of those things that the Gatling gun, it is not an uncommon thing. Uh, Hasbro did this several times. They did it with the uh, Titan. And the Titan, you know, it's big, it's impressive, but the rate of fire is pretty slow. Uh, I think that the Scorpion was much faster, and we'll see how this one can go. I, I think that the chain on this one is, is faster, or longer, I should say, than the, uh, the Scorpion itself. So I am curious. Actually, I want to say that this is almost double the size of the Scorpion, so eh, we'll see. Up next, we're going to do the chronograph test, and then we're going to do a speed test, and then after that, we're going to do a distance test. I'm not going to bother to do an accuracy test this time around because it's a Gatling gun. I don't think anyone expects it to be very accurate. It's just shock and awe, baby. So this is a different view than you all are used to, and we are inside Casa Normatico. I'm actually going to be doing a test of the V-Twin here just to see how fast we can unload every single dart from its chain. Um, of those things that Ms. Normatico is dealing with a little bit of a migraine, so I don't want to make too much noise by having those darts bounce up really hard up against the door or the wall. So I'm actually going to be shooting them into the couch right here, and we're going to see just how quickly we can unload all of the ammunition in that chain. beautiful Sunday morning up here in Columbus, Ohio, and I am out in the parking lot range with the V-Twin. Uh, I'm going to be switching views here in a second so you can actually see the parking lot. 
We're going to do a couple of angled shots. We're going to do a couple of straight shots to see just how far this blaster can shoot with the 3.7 volt batteries. So uh, let's have some fun. First off, let's do an angled shot. Straight shot. It is time for me to go take a walk, do a quick dart recovery. You're gonna go ahead and see exactly how far these went. Stay tuned for the pictograph and then my final thoughts. final thoughts regarding the v-twin blaster uh so i'm not gonna lie this is fun you saw the performance on this thing it is exceptional for the price point 29.97 at walmart and it performs at a pro level blaster grade we got ranges of up to 120 feet with an angled shot we got a straight shot that goes anywhere from a burst of 85 to 90 feet and uh you saw that we were hitting 110 feet per second averaging 108 with 3.7 volt batteries uh the standard batteries you go into the 80s with a high 90 cap uh sorry a low 90 cap uh so it is pretty decent not quite I, even though i said performance of pro level that's when you put 3.7 volt batteries in so stock it's not quite the pro level but it's much more than a elite blaster which hey you know what i'm okay with that Seeing as if this was an elite Nerf blaster, the price point would be almost double what it is. Um, it is in stock at Walmart still on the shelves. I'll be honest with you, this one I have never seen go on sale. It has never dropped below that $29 price point. And to be fair, with the performance that you got out of this thing, I don't see it dropping anytime soon. I will tell you that it is very similar to the scorpion the commander scorpion blaster from dart zone i would dare say that it is just a dart zone scorpion rebadged as adventure force and then with these two little fake turrets on the side that is the one thing i will say about this blaster that i would have liked to have seen had they done something with these little turrets here other than being dart storage because they do rotate so i don't know um the actual chain does not cause these to rotate they just freely, freely rotate on their own it would have been nice had this been connected with some wiring to actually have these rotate. Um, maybe even actually use this for an air pump so you could actually push a button it's very similar to the Moto Blitz and actually launch these out as well. But, you know, again, at that point in time, this would go from $29.97 to about $60. So I'm okay with just that being the only issue I have. It does make decent start storage though because at unloading these things in the four seconds, you're going to need some... Uh, time to actually reload here. So it's kind of nice to have these darts here that you actually just put back in the chain itself instead of having to go pick up everything. Speaking of picking up everything, even though you can actually unleash all of your darts in four seconds, uh, with the controlled fire, you can shoot anywhere between two to three without a problem. So this is not something that, hey, once you shoot one button, you're gonna lose all seven darts in a second and that's it. Um, it doesn't have the same problem as, say, the Omnia or the Ultra Speed, where the trigger itself, you shoot that one time and you hold it down for just a smidgen too long and your entire magazine is gone. Uh, in this case, because you actually have the 40 rounds, you can afford to have some leeway with, oh, you know, I pressed the trigger down for a second and I only lost five darts or six darts or seven darts if you went the full second. Um, so... All in all, highly recommend this one. Now, I will tell you the funnest part about this blaster for me as a parent is this. Hey, G-Rex, come here, I wanna show you something. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I'm the parent of the year. Um, I promise you G-Rex was not harmed. Uh, in fact, he did get some revenge on me and you know, shot me back with it as well. So. For a parent, if you need to actually command the battlefield and show your kids what's what, get the V-Twin. Uh, I will tell you that if you're going to be using it on younger kids, do not use the 3.7 volt batteries uh, on here because the speed, um, they do hurt a little bit. I, I took a couple of darts to the face. Um, G-Rex took one just above his eyebrow, unfortunately, and, and they sting. So, oh well. 
Uh, I will tell you, though, that for my next giveaway, if I decide to start doing the like new, not inbox blaster giveaway, um, the V-Twin, it might not be one of the ones that's going. However, the Scorpion will be. So keep that in mind. Speaking of which, we are right now waiting to get to 200. Once we get to 200 subscribers, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. And of course, I want to remind you all that once I get to 1,000, which is the monetization point, we'll be doing these giveaways monthly. So keep on sharing my videos, keep on liking, keep on commenting, and we'll see what we can do. Until next time, thank you for watching Secondhand Blasters. This has been Normatico. Keep on blasting.